Hi freaks, we've got a, an interesting piece of vintage guitar equipment here. This is a D Armand RHCB pickup for acoustic guitar. Um, I think it may also be known as the 210. Um, these were made, I don't know, sometime in the 50s, 60s. And I've had this for about 20 odd years. Um, and it's been sat around and I've, I've used it in acoustic guitars over the years, but my, my acoustics have electrics in them now. And this is quite a distinctive sound it produces because obviously it's an electromagnetic pickup with the pole pieces, so it's more like an electric guitar in sound rather than acoustic um, because the way it's picking up the sound and reproducing it, it's not picking up the actual acoustic sound itself. So it's working like an electric guitar really. So it's quite an interesting and distinctive sound and uh, these types of pickups are much sought after amongst jazz and blues players. Um, well, I'm going to be selling this I think now. Um, I, I think these are worth about £150, maybe a little bit more on a good day type thing, which is not bad. Um, I was in two minds about whether to get rid of being as it's such a nice piece of kit really and it is it looks beautiful I think it's lovely the arm and engraving on that I'm just hoping that I can um, focus difficult to see there the camera doesn't want to focus on that writing but you can just D Armand Reg US Patent Office H N Row and Company Incorporated Toledo Ohio USA Obviously this isn't the original connector, this is a jack socket on this, because the cable's not that long, so you can just put a jack plug in there, and it fits into the sound hole on your guitar. Now I need to give this a test to make sure it's working, so we're going to give this a bit of a sound test. We're going to be using my Ibanez, which has featured in a previous video, and it's going to be going through this Sims Watts system here, just going to be using one of the cabs. Um, just because I've only got one cable. My other cable's in with my effects pedal board and I don't want to dig it out. So we're going to have a listen to it through that. Obviously this guitar already has electric so we're not going to use those. We're going to fit this in the sound hole and we're going to give it a go and see what it sounds like. Okay so we've got it fitted. It thankfully went in without too much trouble. I suppose there's a decent sized sounder hole in this guitar. Um, I was tempted to try it on my other guitar, but I know the sound hole is a bit smaller and it's oval in shape. This is your standard round sound hole. So you've kind of got to slide it in at the top and then clip it in on the other side of the bottom here. And then you've got these extending arms that will clip on as well. In fact, you see there's still a bit of movement in there, but you can move these to try and help it to stay in place. Now, obviously, this is designed really for right handed guitars. So, you know, I had a guitar, the cable would come off this way, but it comes off the wrong way, really, on the left hand. Um, what I used to do is I used to tape it down, which was fine. I'm not going to do that today because I don't want to put any tape residue on here. I've just cleaned the load of it off. Um, but that's gone in relatively easily. So let's get everything set up and see if we can get a sound demo. Okay, we're, uh, we're all plugged in. So let's uh, give this a go.
a nice balance across the um, across the strings. Um, I'm actually quite impressed with it. It's, it's, it's a great sounding pickup if you want that kind of um, electric style sound, really. A bit of bite to it. I think for comparison, I'm just going to unplug it and I'm going to plug it straight into the guitar's electrics and just see what it sounds like. So give me a second here. So this is the guitar's electrics. Doesn't seem to be quite as much output there. Hang on, let's give the volume a bit more. Yeah. Actually, the guitar's electrics themselves are a thinner sound, and I thought these were good electrics. So let's just put the presence back up to where I like it on this amp. Yeah, not not as nice sounding actually. That's 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 a surprise to me. This wasn't supposed to be necessarily a test, but um, yeah, I mean, let's. I guess you get more of the acoustic tone in there. But if you plug it into the diamond, that, that, that kind of rocks, really. You, you could overdrive that and all sorts of stuff, and it'd probably sound really, really good. RHCB pickup. Um, it's going to be going on eBay for sale shortly. But a fantastic piece of um, guitar memorabilia history. I don't know. Um, back in the day when you couldn't buy acoustics with pickups in, um, you know, and you could either go down the road of buying these types of pickups or getting a solid bodied guitar. And these days, of course, we get so used to having electrics and acoustics. I mean, a spot for choice, but judging by the sound comparison we've done here, are we actually any better off? I don't know. Um, but thanks for watching this video, and um, if you want to see any more to do with guitars and computers and anything else that takes my fancy, then feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much.